Hello, Scatterbenchers. It's time for a new overclock. In this video, we'll have a look at the Core i7-7700 KB Lake processor from Intel. We'll overclock the CPU, the memory, the integrated graphics, everything at once, and maybe have some special magic trick to get extra megahertz out of your system. Along with the Intel Core i7-7700K, we have an Asus overclocking motherboard, the Maximus 9 Apex, a dual-channel 16GB G-Skill Trident Z memory kit, and a Cooler Master single fan AIO cooler. The total cost of this system is about 850 US dollars. We'll link the hardware in the description below. We'll break up the overclocking process in four different steps. First, we'll overclock the CPU, then the memory, then the integrated graphics, and to sum it all up, we'll apply all the overclocks at once to have a full system overclock. To do the overclocking, we'll be using four different tools. First, for the actual overclocking, we'll be going into the motherboard BIOS to adjust all the settings, and then in the operating system, we'll be using four benchmarks. Intel XTU, HWBOT X265 1080p encoding, Geekbench 4 single and multi-core, and 3Mark Skydiver. You can find all the benchmark and tools in the description below. To overclock the integrated graphics, we enter the BIOS in the Extreme Tweaker section. Under this section, we leave AI Overclock Tuner to Auto. Then, we configure Enable Higher IGP Power by increasing the CPU graphics current limit to 255. Lower down in the menu, we set the max CPU graphics ratio to 27. Then, we set the CPU graphics voltage mode to Offset. We keep the positive offset mode sign and set the CPU graphics voltage offset to 0.315 volts. After this, we save the settings by pressing F10 and going to the operating system. So we're in the operating system after our overclock. Now let's look at the performance figures. Of the four benchmarks, only 3DMark Skydiver is affected by IGP performance. We have a performance increase of 14%. This concludes our overclocking adventure with our very first KB Lake system. Be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of tutorial content. Drop a message below if you have any questions or any problems overclocking your own KB Lake system. I also want to urge you to check out our magic trick videos that will give you another 200 megahertz on your CPU. Thanks for watching and until the next time.